Rodney at Rodney at RodneyAnderson.com or call 1-800-EXPRESS. Easy to remember. Amy? All right, Brenda, thanks. Well, today would be a great day for a cup of soup. Coming up next, our friends from Super Salad will show us how to prepare a pumpkin bisque soup for this very chilly day. Good Morning Texas is back in two minutes. This is a time of year when a nice bowl of soup hits the spot, and where better to find that soup than Super Salad, where a healthy, affordable meal is at your fingertips. Blaine Lively is the Director of Research and Development for Super Salad. He joins us this morning to make a pumpkin bisque soup. Good morning to you, Blaine. Morning, I have to say you. that that sounds really good to me right now, especially with all that wind and cold outside. Soups are in fashion right now, aren't they? Yes, it is, and we actually picked a perfect day to show this soup with the weather that we're having. We did. Okay, so you are you kind of test drive different soups uh, before they actually hit uh, consumers. What is that process like, and how did this recipe come to be? Well, this recipe actually came from my heart. I love pumpkin pie, oh. so I've always wanted to come out with a soup, a pumpkin soup. So this is your personal favorite. Exactly. When I was making it, everything in my mind was pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie. So and does it taste a little bit like pumpkin pie? Yes, it does. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right, well, where do we begin to make this? Well, what we use with this soup is a fresh pumpkin, mm -hmm. uses leeks, some yellow onion, a little bit of lemon juice, um, a couple different spices, a nutmeg, seasoned salt, a little bit of garlic. Okay, and what's the difference between like maybe a pumpkin that you would carve out and make a jack-o'-lantern out of and one that you would cook with? There is a difference, There right? is a difference. Basically, the larger pumpkins, the jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, those are the ones that are they're full of mostly water. What you want to look for is one of the smaller, it's a sweeter pumpkin. Okay, so then this is what you'd want to, this is what we're exactly. using today. Now, if you don't want to use a fresh pumpkin, you can always use the canned stuff, but stay away from the pumpkin pie filling. What you want to do is pumpkin puree. There is a difference. There is a difference. So this would be the wrong kind of pumpkin to that use That would be for. the wrong Yeah, one. that's not even a pumpkin, I don't think. <laughs> okay, excellent. So where do we begin okay. with the ingredients? Well, what I'd like to show you first is a little bit about the leek, uh, okay. one of the main ingredients in there. So what you've got here is a leek. It is in the onion family. Mm -hmm. It's not as strong as an onion. Um, probably a little bit more like a garlic. Okay. What you want to look for is um, a leek with a nice long um, white shaft on it. Um, to prepare it, very, very simple. You're going to remove the bottom section. Okay. And then all but about two inches off the top. And that's the part you use. Exactly. Okay. So when they actually grow a leek, what the farmers will do is they'll push the soil up onto the leek to produce the longer white stem. Okay. What that does, however, is it fills the leek with the soil. Oh. So what you need to do is remove any soil that's actually gotten inside the leek. Cut down.